So this video is for anybody who's having a battery issue. If you have a red light, your battery's probably not charging. If that's the case, well then I have a solution for you. This battery pack, it did have a red light. I just got rid of it. I'm still gonna take this apart because I need to get one of these green battery cells. I'm gonna be swapping it out with one of the batteries that's already inside of one of my hair clippers because these have a higher milliamp, which is gonna allow me to have a longer run time. So that's what I'm gonna do. But before I do this, I'm gonna show you guys because I know you guys wanna save your battery pack and you know probably not break it down. This is what I did. Right here you have your, your B plus, you have your P plus. You're gonna stick with the B plus side, all right? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this very hot, set your soldering gun to about 450 degrees, Cover up your contact points, just like that. What I did was I used a brush, something like this. You wanna heat this up and before it has time to melt, before it has time to dry, you wanna get your brush in. Throw that solder away, just knock it off. I use a flathead to put in here and just do this number here. Just pull up on it until it breaks the connection between the BMS and this nickel. So this is what it should look like. After you break that connection, that red light will disappear. From there, take your tape off, get a voltmeter and test from B plus to B plus, and you should have your battery voltage back. Just solder this back together. That red light will disappear. Do your bypass and that's it. All right, as you can see, I do have my BMS sitting right here, right next to my bird scooter. These right here is what balances the cells. They go back to the BMS and communicate with this, let it know if it's, if the cells are unbalanced, then that will trigger that red light that, that was on earlier. These white wires here is what uh, takes track of the temperature of the battery's too cold or too hot. That's what it looks like. This sits on just like that, connected with these nickels. All you have to do is unsolder these and lift up on it. It'll come right off. Just do it one at a time. 